Good morning, YouTube. Please forgive uh, my appearance, but uh, I've been enjoying myself quite a bit these uh, last 24 hours monitoring the meltdown that's going on uh, with the uh, uh, seditious traitors in our government, or shorthand, the Democrats and their allies. <laughs> All because of one word. And that word is spying. Yes. The Attorney General had the gall to say out loud what everybody already knew. That the Obama administration had weaponized the law enforcement and intelligence assets of the United States government to spy on a, uh, the Republican presidential campaign. Oh, oh my, I've just been relishing all the uh, um, uh, histrionics of the MSNBC and CNN hosts. <laughs> It's almost as if they sense the end is near, and uh, they would be right. <laughs> See, here's the thing. This is only the beginning, okay? The shit, there's still plenty of shit left to hit the fan, okay? <laughs> and if I know, uh, uh, let me just put it, if I was Donald Trump, I would definitely want to uh, space it all out between now and the election. So yeah, there's going to be some more shoes to drop, uh, and they're going to be really interesting shoes. And uh, hopefully the trials will begin in the spring. That will be very nice and too. It'll be very satisfying for me. Uh, but of course the uh, the biggest news or the one that I enjoyed the most, was that Julian Assange was arrested in London this morning. Why? Why would I be so happy about that? Well, here's why. See, Julian Assange knows exactly where those emails came from, the Podesta emails, and he's holding that information back as his trump card. Okay, well, with his arrest this morning, he's going to want to play that card. And this is just speculation on my part. I have no inside information. But uh, what that's going to reveal is that it wasn't the Russians. Mm -mm. No. The person that hacked, uh, that supplied that information was the guy by the name of Seth Rich. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And when that comes out, ooh. Boom. Bada boom. Okay. Then, there's going to be a lot more attention on Mr. Rich and how he met his end. And then, eventually, someone is going to put two and two together. And they're going to realize that, uh, you know, the night that, uh, when Mr. Rich was, uh, murdered. That night he spent most of it drinking in a bar with co-workers and friends. And guess who was amongst the uh, party goers uh, there? The Awan brothers were. Now, you people might not know who the Awan brothers are, but you will. <laughs> And it is the Awan brothers uh, that are going to put the noose around Hillary Clinton's neck. So she, we should all look forward to the Awan brothers telling their tale. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I guess I should probably go make myself something to eat now. <laughs> Enjoy your day.